those two things are valuable. Hey, what's up everybody? If you are trying to get somebody to do something, <laughs> you need to make what they get in return more valuable perceived the perceived value needs to be greater on their end than it is on yours so if you want somebody to uh, give you their contact information make sure that that what you're giving them in return is more valuable to them than what they're giving you and here's what they're actually giving you they're giving you time and trust those two things are valuable if I'm asking you for your email address, um, you better give me, you know, I better give you something that is greater <laughs> than your fear, the time it takes for you to do that, and the fear of being spammed. I better give you something better to overcome that time factor and the fear factor. So, highlight, make it very clear what's in it for me. If you want me to, to do something, make it clear what's in it for me. You need to overcome those things, namely time, so make it as simple as possible for me to, to click and do the thing. Don't make me invest time in information aggravation, especially if I'm on a mobile device, which is highly likely um, that I'm going to have to start typing things in on a mobile device instead of a computer. And also, um, Make sure I'm getting something that's gonna make me overcome my fear that you're gonna spam me. So, add value to your calls to action and you will see more conversions. If you wanna see more examples of that, sign up, click the link in the description, sign up for the free training and you will get all kinds of examples and I'll show you how all this stuff works and how to convert website traffic into leads and sales. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and click the link in the description for access to more free training.